Hello, everybody. We have an important announcement to make. Please could you gather around, making sure to keep some distance from each other. You've probably heard about coronavirus or COVID-19. We do not yet have any cases identified here. However, it is important that we all immediately start taking measures to prevent any possible cases. Yeah, we heard about it. A lot of people are getting sick. It's all over the world. Yes, it is. Coronaviruses affect the lungs and usually cause common colds. It can give you fever, coughing, <coughs> shortness of breath, a sore throat, or a runny nose. A common cold doesn't sound too serious. Well, for most people, the illness is mild, and some do not even feel sick. However, some may become seriously ill, such as people who are older or have chronic illness. We also don't want to overload the health services, so we need to do everything possible to prevent any cases from coming here. What if I get sick? Will I be taken care of? If you have any symptoms, you will be tested, and it will be necessary to isolate you. This will be a health measure, not a disciplinary measure. We will still provide you with food, drink, and medication, access to the courtyard. We will let you know how long the isolation would last, and you will be monitored regularly by the healthcare team. If you have been together in a cell with someone with coronavirus, you may also need to be separated from others. This helps to stop it spreading further. How does it spread? Is there a risk of us getting it? It spreads from person to person through coughing, sneezing, or spitting near others, or on items that others then touch. Of course, that's one of our difficulties here, where we all live or work close to each other. Yeah, so what exactly is going to be done? Well, you can all do several things to reduce risks for yourselves and others. Firstly, wash your hands regularly before and after going out of your cells, after using items belonging to others, and after coughing or sneezing. When coughing or sneezing, <coughs> cover your mouth with your bent <coughs> elbow or a tissue and put the tissue in the bin immediately. If you do have any symptoms, you should immediately tell the healthcare team. I wouldn't tell anyone. I don't want to be isolated. I understand, but it's really important that you tell the health staff if you don't, all of us could be affected. Please also avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. This is more difficult than it seems, as we all do it naturally. And finally, try to keep a distance of at least one meter between each other. How are we expected to keep a distance of one meter in a place like this? If you can't keep this distance, please reduce the amount of people you interact with, for example in the courtyard staying with your cellmates when going to the courtyard instead of mixing with other cells. We keep the access to the courtyard, but please help us in respecting the rules. Movements outside your cells, like going to the showers, mealtimes, or any recreational or work activities, may also be done in shifts to reduce the amount of people you are in contact with. What else are you guys going to do? Well... We'll give you water, soap, and we'll be collecting and removing rubbish more frequently. We may also ask some of you to help to disinfect some areas while wearing protective gear. Please contact your probation officer if you want to participate. Furthermore, as you probably know, the main risk of the virus coming in is through staff, new arrivals, or visitors. Therefore, we will be screening anyone entering and leaving the facilities for symptoms of COVID-19. We will also potentially be limiting the number of visitors. What does this mean for family visits? I heard they might be stopped. And what about my appeal? I have an appointment with my lawyer next week. When your family, your lawyer, or any other people visit you, please keep at least one meter from them. Depending on the situation, we may have to gradually reduce or stop visits altogether and move to other forms of contact, like phone or video calls or letters. If the post office works, we will support you in writing and receiving letters. We will also keep your families and lawyers informed of what is going on. 
What about the food and clothing my family bring every week? We are looking into a way for families to deliver parcels safely. In any case, we will make sure you get the food and clothing you need. But we have to all agree that depending on the future evolution, we may have to gradually reduce the contacts to protect the health of all people involved. Our staff has made a contingency plan. All your families have been told. Our health staff is ready, and all of us have received a training and know what to do. We can all be affected, and so we want to reassure you that we will do the necessary to protect your relatives and us in order to keep good health. I am really scared of catching the virus now. I don't want to be isolated, and I need to see my family. It is normal to feel anxious, but we all need to support each other and work together to keep everyone healthy and safe. Please remember to wash your hands, limit physical contact, and come to us if you have any <coughs> symptoms. <coughs> on our side, we will make sure to keep you informed of everything that is going on. We are all affected by the situation, and so we want to reassure you that we will do everything in our power to protect you, your relatives, and those who work in this facility. Thank you all for listening. <coughs>